Hello and welcome to Blocks Master. My name is Eldar and this is the new master class covering off canvas menu and sidebar. And I have already covered this for Blocks 4 a few months ago, but I continue to get the requests about this feature. And today I decided to do a dedicated video because last time I've done that, it was actually part of the longer video and not many people saw that. So today I'm going to show you how to make a sidebar using off canvas feature, as well as the mega menu without using any additional code or any additional custom bricks or anything. So uh, one of the reasons why I got a few questions about this it was actually because of the construction template, which I released a while ago and I updated it. And this time, instead of using toggle visibility, I used off canvas feature. And as you can see now, we have this sidebar here, which kind of slides out and back very smoothly. I will show you how to do that exactly in this video. But in addition to that, we also have, I think, factory template. This one is still using the toggle class visibility for mega menu. And it is still cool. You can still use it. It's actually quite good. But you can see that when I click close, it is not sliding back up like it did for the construction template because this is the toggle visibility. I guess I can add the animation here manually, but I think that it's not that interesting because not that big deal because when people click on mega menu and then select the other product they want to go to usually you don't really close the menu anyway but in any case today let's pick a template which does not have the sidebar or mega menu i think designer will be good and we will build the sidebar first to do that let's actually select our nav bar i will disable the navigation and enable the content area because I want to have the icon here, which will trigger the sidebar. So to add an icon, let's add simple icon. I will go to mobile breakpoint and align this to the right. So it will align for all breakpoint, as you can see. Let's change some color and maybe find the menu, menu icon. I think this one this one or maybe this one will be good so i think this one will work better for this particular template website and i think it is too small we can change the size like that but you can see that the jump between these two sizes is too big so what we can do we can select the last option here and then it will become very small but we can add the custom menu icon or any class you don't need to type the name exactly as I do this is up to you and we will use the typography size here to set it to something like 40 maybe 50 no 40 was fine and of course if we use it uh, this way we can go to all brick points and we can set the size exactly what we want exactly what we want on all brick points make it completely responsive but that's okay, this will be our trigger. So when we click on this, the menu will be opening. So like I said, we will start this sidebar. So what I will do, I will add the block right under this one. So it will be in the dynamic area, uh, on the in the global area, global header area. So it is on all pages because we want to have it on all pages. So I will add a simple uh, sidebar structure. So let's say I want to have some logo designer let's let's actually let's do following i will select it create a link and i will add the navbar brand class i think we have in our in our project here as you can see it will be quite big let's align this to the center add some margin below it at up top maybe just below it and we will add a couple of links there so this will be home it will be home let's create a link i will not be doing a lot of styling but let's give it some white color and i will add i will set the padding to something like that duplicate it a couple of times so about services products contact something like that and for the last link let's add some button margin here because below I want to have 
let's actually have the follow links break and we can uh, let's just use classic we will align this to the center make it a little bit bigger and add spacing between them and let's make it wide because i think for this website something like that will be better so for the color we will use the same one as the navigation but that's pretty it that's pretty much it what i want to have for the sidebar so uh now we need to link this trigger to this block so when we click on this link on this icon in this in this situation uh, we will see this block as a sidebar so there are a few things we need to do to this icon but before doing that let's actually select this block this is our sidebar and give it id sidebar we can do whatever you want just remember this and we need to add two classes to this block first one will be off canvas the second one will be off canvas and so when we add off canvas class it will hide the block from us as you can see and for the off canvas and and represents the right sidebar we can also have off canvas start for the left sidebar top for mega menu on top and off canvas bottom for the mega menu at the bottom of your page if you want to have that so for this sidebar we will use the right sidebar so of canvas end for now all we need to do is go to the, our icon here i will enable the interaction navigate to url put sharp here we don't need to put anything else and then we will add a couple of values here into custom attributes so the first one will be data bs toggle and the value for this one will be off canvas the same as the class we just typed and the second one will be data bs target and right now we just need to type the name of our block here as you remember we put sidebar so we need to go back here and put sidebar so data bs target sidebar so that's almost going to work we still need to do something else but if you go to preview right now first of all you will see we have this lots of space here and when we click this menu does appear and it slides from the right to left so pretty cool but it is not complete yet and the reason for that is because we need to edit the off canvas and class a little bit so let's click on it to open class editor and actually the simplest thing we need to do here is go to positioning tab and change the position to fixed and if we do just that already as you can see we don't have this white space or like uh, negative space without anything and now when we click on this you can see that we get the sidebar we wanted perfectly working okay we can obviously style it a little bit maybe right now we can, as you can see we have about 100 pixels padding on top and this is because this block itself has padding we can actually do something different we can get rid of the padding completely and if we do that you will see that the logo will be on top and instead i will open the same of canvas and class and let's say i want to have the height well we can do 100 vh for example so it will fill the whole uh, height of the of our device and i will enable the flex for example we can make sure that everything is from top to bottom direction and we will align everything and justify everything to the middle so if we do that you will see that now we have this in the center we can also like customize this for example make sure that we we can use one of these options and have like logo on top social li links in the bottom just make sure that the links here in our sidebar are properly grouped so we have links in the middle logo on top and social links in the bottom but that's that's uh, 
I don't think if I need to do that in this video, it will probably make it too too long. But yeah, maybe maybe I will quickly do that. Let me quickly do that. So what I trying to say here, for example, we can add these links under the same div container. And now it means that we have three elements, one, two, three. And if we add the flex class to this column instead of this sidebar block we had there, so let's actually do that again of canvas of canvas end. Instead of using the flex here in this uh, of canvas end block, what we can do, we can add the class to this column which has all of the links and our logo and our follow links break here. Let's add the sidebar links for example and we can set the height to 100 percent and from here we can enable flex and we can do the same as we did to the off canvas and class and you will see it right now almost working almost working we need to do oh well, first of all we need to uh we need to Maybe let's try this 100th H. Maybe this will work. Okay, this is working. All we need to do is just go to this one and let's test one of these things. I think I think this one will be exactly what I want. As you can see, the logo is on top, social links in the bottom, links in the center. Of course, we need to add some padding here. So let's just add padding here. Like I said, this is very, very personal. You, you might choose some other design you want. I think I would probably do something like this. And yeah, this, this, this works fine. Sometimes there are problems. There might be problems if you have like too much text and it will be not visible like this and it's not scrollable by default. So what you can do, you can add, for example, you can go to this positioning tab and set the overflow to scroll. I think this will solve it. Yeah, you can see now it is scrolling like that. So if you have more content than the area, like active area allows to show, you can enable the scroll and it will allow you to scroll like that. So very, very useful thing to do. Okay. So I think, well, the last thing I wanted to show here is that maybe we can adjust the default width for this sidebar. I think right now it is a little bit too wide. We can have something like 300 pixels. Let's try. I actually, we need to put it into the, I think, minimum or maximum, actually maximum, I think. Let's say if we want 300 pixels maximum, you can see now it is much, much like uh, narrower i think this will work fine for my website the only thing i suggest you to keep in mind is mobile optimization make sure that it is perfectly optimized for all breakpoints okay so i think this works great we can also add the close button here for now i don't have close button because you can click anywhere actually outside the sidebar and it will close it for you and I think for mobile, well, for sidebar, it's actually fine. But when we're talking about the mega menu, I think that having some X button there will probably be useful. And we will do that in a second when we create a mega menu. Let me actually just delete the classes I created because I want to start from scratch. So, well, of canvas, I didn't actually change anything. So I will just undo it. I will delete this block we just created for sidebar. And for this link, instead of the, I will keep everything like, like it was. So I, the interaction is set to sharp and the two attributes we have here, I will leave them as it is. And only for the target, instead of sidebar, I will put it to menu. And menu, obviously, this is the ID we will have to add to the block we will just create for our mega menu. So let's actually add the block here. And I'm not going to create something very fancy because this is a completely different area 
a different topic but let's add something simple and for the third row actually let me do something different i will put the form here so well if we're using mega menu we can put something interesting here right and i will just use the simple structure like this let's add some style to our button here make it maybe bigger like that and this will be the name and this will be the email let's say this is the sign up uh, form for our email and right now it follows the design i have set for the photographer or for the photographer for the contact page of this designer template as you can see so it kind of a little bit too big i think for the sidebar but for this per for this particular video i think that's more than good enough so this will be our menu so let's add the menu id to this block and we need to add two classes as you remember off canvas which will hide it and the second one which is different from the sidebar is off canvas top again we will open off canvas top and set the position to fixed and for now let's just see what this will look like so as you can see it is already working pretty good i mean obviously the default height is not big enough for our menu and that's fine because we can go to of canvas top and we can set any height i think we can actually set the exact height we want let's try that no i think we need to set minimum or maximum i think this was yeah minimum here so we can set minimum height and this is obviously too big but we can set something like 400 i think and this is this is fully responsive we can add if you want you can add the view, viewport height there in, instead of pixels but uh, yeah I mean, I mean the customization of the sidebar is up to you just make sure that it is optimized for mobile because obviously right now it is not optimized for mobile you can see that now we have this one column here and this actually means that we need to optimize this design a little bit i think that starting from this brick point i will have two columns like that so this will be fine something like this and keep in mind we're also adding adding some padding here by default to this block we can actually actually get rid of it in this way well let's add back our two classes here and if we go to preview this way you can see that we don't have padding on top and a lot of padding below again same as we've done to the sidebar we can open the off canvas top and we can go to our display flex i think we can just set it to be aligned to the center like this justify to the center i think this will work yeah as you can see now it is aligned to the center and it will always align to the center no matter what the width of the of this uh, mega menu we have okay so one thing we might want to have is maybe we want to open the menu but we want to have the like uh, menu icon still visible and um, let's say the de designer logo still visible we can actually add some margin there one of the ways to do that so we will open the off canvas top and let's add i don't know like an 80 80 pixels margin if we do that you can see now it appears a little bit below the logo and right now as you can see it is kind of grayed out because it is in the background we can actually add the class to this block this is the our icon and the logo let's say this is our navbar custom whatever it doesn't really matter you can see i type something strange there and we can increase the z, z index so i don't know what's the highest one i'm using for this project now but basically something like this it will make sure that this is always visible and maybe this is what you want and as you can see you can use this icon again every time maybe instead of that you want to have close icon or maybe you want to create the full screen menu you can actually very very easily do that 
So I will get rid of this uh, header class we just created. I will go to off canvas top and this time I will actually set the height to 100 VH which will actually make it full screen. It will fill the full screen. Actually, actually, let's try how this looks and you will actually see one big problem right away. Well, first of all, we need to get rid of the margin, of course, but right now we can close it by clicking outside. But if we get rid of the margin here and if we have the full screen menu, there is no way to close it because we don't have the close button. So let me quickly add the close button and show you how to configure it. It's actually pretty easy. What I will do, I will actually select this column, this row, and we will add, we will, we can add the new icon like that. And again, I'll, again, align this to the, align this icon to the right. But we can actually just take this one and duplicate it, drop it here. Maybe it will be easier. So instead of adding the new icon, I will add the same icon we have here and just change it to the close, something like that. It actually has the same values we have set for the menu, as you can see, data BS toggle off canvas, data BS target menu. I think it, it, it is exactly what we need. So let's add the two classes back off canvas and off canvas top. And now you will see then we open our menu, we have this close button and when we click on it, it will close it. So obviously this is not a good position to put this button. So what we can do, we can actually select this, select this icon here. It is not visible, but I, I know I can select it in the sidebar. And I will add the new class, so close icon above the one we already had there for the menu, which was set for the color and size. And I will set the position to fixed. And I will make sure it is 15 pixels from top and from the right. So it will be in the top right corner like that. I think this is exactly what I want. So let's see how this looks. And as you can see, well, 15, maybe a little bit too, too small. Let's make it 50. Oh, my favorite number, 28 from top and from the right. Yeah, I think this is better. And obviously the menu itself we have here is not very pretty. I think we for Mega Menu we can obviously do something different. We can put any type of content here. But yeah, close icon working. And this is our Mega Menu. I think that for Mega Menu you will obviously probably use the not 100 VH, but something like, well, whatever. You can set it in pixels or let's say 60 VH. So 60% of the height of our screen will be filled like that. Close icon will work beautifully as well. So yeah, I think this is pretty good. So to summarize, to use off canvas menu, all you need to do is to create some kind of block Put there either links or whatever you want. If it is for mega menu, probably put some columns with links. If it is for sidebar, make it beautiful sidebar. Maybe some forms, videos, images, whatever you want. And then you just add two classes of canvas and of canvas top for the mega menu, of canvas, of canvas, and for the right menu, for the right sidebar. A start from the for the left one for right now it will not work very well because we have set it to be <laughs> mega menu so as you can see it's not really working but yeah I mean you can put any type of let's actually try quickly do that I, mean, I always try I always say I'm not gonna show you but then I show you like that as you can see it's now left sidebar and yeah, so you add two of these classes and then you go to your trigger. It can be this icon. You can put button there, you can put link there, anything with interactions. Set the navigator URL to sharp and then just add two attributes. Da data BS toggle of canvas and data, data BS target, which is targeting the 
block you created for your sidebar or for your mega menu. Very simple, no need to do anything else, no need to code, no need to add any custom bricks or anything. Very easy and very simple. So this is it for this masterclass. I'm going to release quite a few more this month for the Blocks Master members. I have decided that masterclass will be now officially part of Blocks 5 course and I will cover every advanced feature I can think of in coming months and years. I will continue to update it and I will continue to release some free masterclasses for my YouTube channel as well, of course, because I do want to help as many people as possible. But from now on, I think that I will concentrate on adding the simpler tutorials on YouTube and I will leave these more advanced and more detailed tutorials for Blocks 5 class, Blocks 5 course, I should say. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to help you. Have a nice day.